Hi everybody, it's Faith from Fireside Tarot again. Hi, I hope everyone is well. That was rough. I just did cancer. That was rough. I kind of knocked the wind out of me a little bit, but on the road and keep on moving. So since I'm not making decisions, I'm going to let the cards decide who's doing what. Who we're reading next? Aries. You're up. Mm -hmm. I gotta put things back where they belong. Everything is a little out of sorts here. I try not to do out of sorts. All right. Reading over for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, if it resonates with you. Okay, it is your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given to you by the cards. If you choose to do anything at all, it is your journey now, mine. I just read the cards. It doesn't resonate, that's okay too. It's not going to resonate with every Aries. Check your Moon, Rising, or Venus sign readings. You might find something that resonates better. Time and energy are both fluid. All things can and maybe vice versa may play out from the perspective of a cross watcher. The cross watchers are always welcome here. I'm trying for four readings today. I may have to stop it too. We'll see how it goes. Aries, why are you here? High Priestess reversed. Could be a Taurus you're dealing with. Or another Aries. Taking over resonates. Disconnects. You could perhaps be dealing with an egotistical person. You could be attempting to shut your intuition off. There's a connection here. Could be unacknowledged. Very good possibility. Either a connection being felt not being felt by both of you equally or someone's denying the connection that's that's another good possibility how do you feel about the person you're dealing with eight of swords you feel like they're a little bit wrapped up in something or you're a little bit wrapped up in it this is the cage of your own thoughts card Usually depicted by being surrounded by offensive swords. In this particular card, they're just kind of hanging up on a wall all jankly on some gears. The wrong one falls, something's getting cut off. But if the right one falls, you're cut free. Oh, you're not tied to the chair, by the way. And... Well, it's hard to say if your legs are tied or not. You could very well get up and move anytime you want. Or they could. It's all about perspective and allowing yourself to be wrapped up in that cage of your own thoughts. What do you think of the person you're dealing with? The Emperor. They're large and in charge. They got their crap together. They could be slightly overbearing. 
could be another Aries you're dealing with. Don't take that the wrong way. They always have to be in charge of everything. It's their way or the highway. What do you want from them? Sun in the reverse. I don't think you want the sun to stop shining in their world. We'll throw a clarifier on that. Could be a Leo you're dealing with, by the way. How do they feel about you, the tower? <laughs> oh, wow. They could feel like this connection is a disaster waiting to happen. Perhaps they feel like the tower's already fallen. Shaky foundations. It... it I mean, this tower was built on a pretty big, old, strong tree, but one little lightning bolt, one little thing goes wrong, down it went. Was it really just one little thing? The tower is usually a series of events. If you really stop and think about every bad thing that ever happened in your life. It was a series of events that led up to the tower finally falling. It wasn't just one little thing. And you usually saw the storm coming. You just ignored it. I know when I stop and think about it, it it's a series of events. What do they think of you? Knight of Wands in the reverse. Hmm. Could be another fire sign you're dealing with. Got a lot of fire here. That's the settle down card. Perhaps they wanted to settle down with you. Or they, th they thought that was what you wanted. Hmm, okay. It's interesting. We'll throw a clarifier on that in a minute. What do they want from you? Nine of Swords. I don't think they've slept much. What's the challenge here? The chariot, forward movement. Could be a cancer. Forward movement or emotionally distancing yourself from the situation could be the challenge. Putting that distance between you. Maybe distance was what the trouble was to begin with. Maybe someone was emotionally or physically distant. Maybe someone's moved away. What can be done? Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups.
This is an interesting depiction of her. See, she's holding two cups. One is up in the air, waiting to be filled, and the other one's being spilt. Processing. Knowing what you want in your cup and knowing what you don't want. Okay, let's get some clarity. I'm not going to clarify with you. I'm going to clarify with you. Universe, source, and spirit. Wow. My voice just squeaked like a 14-year-old boy. Universe, source, and spirit. Can I get some clarity? On the cards on the table for Aries and Moon Rising Venus for the second half of June, please. I make myself laugh. I'm sorry. Every once in a while, my voice will do that. Um, late teens, early 20s, I suffered some vocal cord damage. I used to be a singer, believe it or not. And since then, that, you know, I, I chain smoked like a chimney for quite a few years. Not so much anymore, but it has affected my voice. So every once in a while it squeaks. Okay. Just for kicks, I don't normally do this. Why is the High Priestess reversed here? The Four of Wands and the Six of Wands reversed. Slammed doors, wounded egos. Oh, wow. I think you've been shut out by something. Someone is completely ignoring a connection. Or you've done slammed the door. Because your ego was hurt. Take it however resonates. Aries, I love you. I do. But I've dealt with the Aries energy before. And I know what happens to an Aries when they get knocked off the pedestal. They don't like that. Mm-mm. No. Mm-mm. Don't ever tell an Aries what to do. They don't appreciate that. 
Lesson one. Lesson two. Try not to ever call them out. I never listened to that lesson. Just know that you're loved and that you're appreciated for the people that you are. Why is the Eight of Swords here? Hi! Nine of Wands. There it is! Cage of their own thoughts. Guard is up. You feel like they're in fight mode even though weapons are down. Mm -hmm. Okay, why is the Emperor here? don't you? You do. Two of swords. Emperor energy, my way or the highway. throw another one on that. Oh, wow. You think they're very much my way or the highway. They have no patience for it. They're definitely not taking a blindfold off. They're just making snap decisions literally throwing swords, swords at a target with a blindfold on. Snap decisions, not knowing what's going on. No patience. You see them as just being very much in charge of the situation. And that's every situation. Okay. Why is the sun reversed here? Hi, Mr. Devil Card. How are you? I gotta throw another one on that. That just made that more confusing. There could be something very toxic that they're connected to or that's still holding them down and you want them to disconnect from that. You want them to go down a new path toward abundance.
there's something in this story that the cards aren't telling us. I'm almost afraid to ask what it is, but it is a general reading. So, if parts of this are resonating, you know who you are. If it's not, it's just not your story. Why is the tower here? Wow, I'm already 20 minutes in. Nine of Swords in the reverse. The tower has already done fallen. They're trying to put it out of their head. Or they feel like you're trying to put it out of your head. You didn't even give it a second thought. You kicked over their Legos and walked away. That's how they feel. Wow. Why is the Knight of Wands reversed here? Knight of Swords reversed. They think this came to a dead stop. Communication has been blocked. One more. The Fool, you've gone off on new adventures, new and exciting things. You have walked away. You're not giving this a second thought. Cut communication off. Again, you kicked over the Legos and walked away. But Aries, I'm not gonna lie, Aries, I can kind of see why here. I think I think you were dealing with an extremely combative person. Lots of fire energy. Sagittarius in particular with this nine of wands over here. I got Leo energy hanging out. I have Aries energy hanging out. A lot of fire. A lot of air too. Why is the nine of swords here? Push myself up closer to this damn table. Five of Pentacles. What's up, bro? I'm reading. I don't know. Um, it's only 10 a.m., bro. You got a couple more hours, so. No. Okay, 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 I love you. I love you. I'll be out in a minute. As soon as I finish this one. I love you. I love you. Peace, my little plugger. <laughs> All right. Like and subscribe and hit the notification bell. Where were we? Five of Pentacles on top of a Nine of Swords. Oh, wow. Whoever you're dealing with might be, uh, might have a little bit of a grudge. A little bit. One more, please. Wow. 
You want a do-over? They want you to rethink your decision. They, they want to return to stability and they want the connection back. They either want to commit out of the cold or bring you in out of the cold. Usually the five of pentacles means kicking somebody into the cold. I'm not seeing this that way. Not with this three of pentacles and this two of cups. Instead of just kicking over the damn Legos and walking away, they want you to think about what you did or what happened. I'm trying not to point fingers. People get offended when I do that. There's missing pieces here that we're not being told, but it is a general reading. All right, why is the chariot here? Oh, wow. This is gonna be a long one. Why is the chariot here? Just reversed. reversed. Someone was still coming out of a state of sadness from something. Still staring at three spilt cups, not seeing the two cups. I'm like straight up ignoring I think distance played a factor in this, be it physical, emotional, spiritual. You weren't on the same highway. I think it led to confusion. This being unable to manifest into anything beautiful possible manipulation here. There's a lot... I think this connection just beat to shit from the beginning. Five from seven is two. Upside down, too. Wow. Wow, Aries. Okay. Well, why is the Queen of Cups here? I know, I know. Get on with it, Mama. I ain't got all day. I know you ain't got all day. sorts. New communication with new things and new people or reopening old lines of communication take on however resonates. Communication has been cut off here. Seven of Swords reversed. An honest conversation. Things left unsaid being spoken. even if it dumps out somebody's cup. Okay, pull more on that. Then we're gonna get some advice. Then I'm gonna clean up some cards. 
five of wands are first coming out of a state of conflict. Obviously you're in conflict. Specifically, if it's an Aries dealing with another fire sign, I can see where conflict would be there. I'm just saying. Fire and fire makes more fire. That's why I was once told I should never date a Leo. <laughs> Neither here nor there, we're not talking about me. All right. Give me two seconds, we're going to get your advice. Wheel of Fortune and the Hermit. Hold on. My darn Google Assistant. There we go. Wheel of Fortune and the Hermit. Yeah. Possibly. The Wheel of Karma. It may be time for something that was left hanging out there to come to a close. But I would do a little bit of introspection before you do it. I don't know if I'm talking to Aries of the Cross Watcher. I could be talking to both of you. The inner light is an inner light of peace. And if you haven't made peace with this yet, it might be time to. The four of wands upright and the six of wands reversed. They're both reversed over here. Doors are opening to a more stable connection. Don't allow a hurt ego from the past to stop you from walking through a door. Knight of Wands in the upright and the Page of Swords in reverse. Well, Aries, if you're dealing with someone who is continually in and out of your life, It's completely up to you whether or not you want to maintain the lines of communication with that. Ace of Wands reversed and the Six of Swords reversed. Wow. Be careful what ventures you return to. because it might take an awful long time for that match to strike back up again. 
I'm just regurgitating what I'm hearing here. All right, guys. That was a hell of a reading. Well, sorry it took so long and sorry you had to wait so long. That, that was a tough one. All right. I'm going to... I think I may call it a day. That, that was rough. But I might do one more. We'll see how I feel here in about 20 minutes. All right. Thanks for stopping by. I love and appreciate all of my Aries brothers and sisters. Like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already, if you feel so compelled. I'm not going to twist your arm. If you want a personal reading, you know where to find me. Just scroll down. It's in the description. Um, love you to bits. Thanks for the love and support. And I will catch you guys in a week or so for your first half of July. Bye for now.